Thank you, everyone. I do. You do? <laughs> the best time to write is? Now! The best place to write is? You! The best person to write is? You! Thank you very much. This is Writing Nights Press Grand Tournament. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! Woo! We have an amazing night of poetry for you all. Some amazing announcements about Writing Nights Chapter 7 soon throughout the night. Um, we have three categories tonight. Poetry, storytelling, and music all throughout the night. Um, these will be recorded, if you don't want to hear it recorded, well, uh, <laughs> I'm recording. Uh, I'm, we'll talk about it later. Uh, all right. To give people who don't know the basics, um, we opened up our submissions in March. They ran through June. People will send in their, their music entries, their poetry entries, their story entries. We took the best five poetry, the best two stories, the best two musicians, brought them up to the finals. The winners of each category can win $100 and a full-length book or uh, five tracks worth of a CD through Writing Nights. Um, so that's pretty awesome. We can get people out there. <laughs> Suffice to say, y'all are in for a wonderful night. Uh, the judges occasionally will need some support, so after the poets finish, clap to the poet, but also kind of clap for the judges. I think we're just going to start. I don't think there's anything else for me to say yet. Uh, if we have time, we will have a break, but since we started a little late, we might not have a break. But, but if you need to pee or go upstairs, there's the bathroom back until they're right. Um, also, if you want to go outside, but you want to hear what's going on, we do have a uh, speaker going outside. Um, for those of you who are excited for the haiku, Joust, unfortunately we only have one haikuer, Mr. Michael Sorello. So give him a round of applause. If I said your name wrong, I'm sorry. And if I say anyone's name wrong, please correct me. Please correct me. But I know most of you, so it's really okay. Um, our first poet of the evening is a ballroom instructor for the Inspiration to Movement Incorporated group out of Columbus. Please welcome Casey Christopher. Our uh, next person on deck will be Marcus Calvert for storytelling. Thank you very much. Berries Hotel after. Clean, bright morning. Sunlight through walls of glass surrounds you in a cleansing halo as you write on your desk. No sound except for the smooth penmanship. Your eyes slowly move toward me as if a motion picture at one quarter speed. Stillness, no strain. Free of the flow of four train. A beauty that sparks all. Tears fall like a spring rain as I cherish the moment. My hand gliding down your face leaves my poor buoyant, a gondola in Venice, gazing at the stars. Intense focus left a peripheral vision is lost in my brain. Moving, embracing love. A refreshing fragrant softness nearing to freeze time. Resource these boards after. I don't depend on you for conversation and affection hoping for better release. However, this has become a pressure builder. 
biting memories that prick pincushions of confusion. Unfortunately, the battle has reached beyond the threshold. My brain vomits toxic burdens enslaving my head. I can no longer withstand their poison. No medicine can fight this flood of chemical madness. I yearn to stretch a desperate attempt for affection, but I know you don't care. You would see this as total weakness, knowing you have control over my mind. I want to lay down and go to sleep. The sickness keeps me awake. I didn't know feeling numb would be so painful. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to go away. I will never see you without another person present. I will leave early and quietly. You will never know. I hope you never know. Montano from Mephistopheles of Dorigo Boito. Whisper light as a healing balloon, traveling in the rocking motion of the curved feather. Harmonized blend of languid voices. Tranquil journey with freedom to love. Noticed only by hissing sniffles, a wind's friction with leaves. A partly cloudy, soft-eyed comfort, maximized by lifting sternum on bound head and open mouth. <laughs> Auroras at the poles. A luminous smoke of pale green swirls as a spreading in water and smeared by the brush of an artist. Rainbows come and go, level lamps of the sky. <laughs> Dirtle. Spots of emerald green. Spearmint jewels of frosty crystal draped in comparison to a thick tinsel on a Christmas tree. Twirls like a wedding cake on a turntable. Moved inside with both fabric in between. The whiteness of the open vein gives me a cold feeling, in par with the cashier working in a busy store during a winter storm. However, a deep sweetness is found, like the selling of Boston cream. Feast of Starlight, after Howard Shore. Melody opens me through a narrow oval passage without the invisible hand of breeze, exposing with great burst vulnerability and passion. Tears of yearning for a mutual sharing that triggers deep, lasting rhapsody with touch like plush fabric. This next one's a haiku. Kept it that way. Touching the beauty as if molded gelatin without a puncture. <laughs> Castle Eternal Love after Cell Aging's Forum. I don't want you to be alone with only the air and tombstone. I want you to have a presence with you so you know you are loved morning, day, and night. Your companion will be my yearning to be with you. It will be in a form where it will stand all weather and will never let you go. Green it will become like a penny in tears or in, all will know who will look by 
how loved you are by me. I want you to know, I want you to love me and want me to be happy. I have to go to continue my life. I have the memories to share and never want to forget. I love you with all my heart. Cuddling in bed. No, cuddling, cuddling in bed. <laughs> a woman rises as of a flower sprouting from the ground. Stretched moonlit limbs moves with an adagio grace. Glimmering light focuses on the intricate detail of the hem, designed like a doily made with coconut and vanilla. I see. Angel hair, fine as rays of sunshine, has an encircling like an upside down hand fan. Quivers of nervousness through my lips give expectation of tears. Gliding my hands on her arms compares to taking pains to avoid a loose feather on bird's wings. Smooth and firm. Never had compression to flatten. Fragrance of new deepens a desire to keep this high of constant enjoyment. Gentle sharpness and painless rattles. Meandering up and down with passion. We can talk. We can say nothing. We can laugh and play. We can breeze calm above the air with our fingers. And this, to me, is love. <laughs> On four tests reveals that the Richard Wagner. An ocean of deep sound with ornamentation of cyclical melody. The swaying of feminine voices. Let your senses enjoy this moving presence. Absorb this energy of healing as you meditate. Focus only on this spiritual medicine to fight off the internal current of despondency. Feel relief with this nourishment for the soul. A peaceful beauty with love. May the recovery embolden you with the strength of an army of skilled masculine voices. <laughs> this next one's a haiku. Seventh prelude of the Frederick Chopin. Those childish until high notes make you want to stare at your lovely eyes. <laughs> Not a birthmark. Flat wings of ink, no frame of connection. Shifts made from whip by the arms or stretching of shoulder blades. They will not aid an escape from strange beasts. Softness not of the feathery type, but of cleanliness, lotions, and other creams. A noticeable appearance of boldness, like an emblem on an automobile. She stands with strength and dignity, skilled in gracefulness of movement, elaborate design of hairstyle, held with sprays, jewelry, and ties. Flight travel will not come from these wings. They will come from frame, core, and feet, continuous with rhythms of music. <laughs> 
Last call. Strapless, sleeveless art. In grand living room, plenty of space, free to roam, no bounds to express. Merlot wine and rose dominate as waves of cloth encircling the floor. Slow, sublime music. Her face melancholy while reading turns sideways. I lay on the floor in front of her. My fingers freeze her lovely face. Her dress has sweetheart neckline where the cut is much lower at the sides. Trail of soft kisses up her right arm to the right side of her right breast. My lips are crossing down like an old typewriter as trail continues. I am not in haste. Not one prick down on the skin. Perfume therapy. Make condition of form. Embrose at, at every inch in spotless color. Taking off layers slowly as if an onion. Tears when she touched me. In euphoria. A text like warmth found outside in a deep winter storm. A year to not rush this determined passion so it lasts a long time. Gathered together like piled logs vertically. Massage to loosen. Enjoy mutual expressions with energy stings with gentle brush. Like wax from candlelight, sweat may call slip. Slip must have felt solid foundation. Nothing in and out, except need the breathing, and sphincter muscles move. Hold swell with all strength. Many really surrenders, happy and fulfilled. Holding hands relaxed, cuddling, wonderful feel, give and receive, love. Thank you very much.